Hi and welcome back to Eating Well with Rochelle. So today's video is all about this brand called Crisp Green and they have um, freeze dried fruits. And the thing that I love about this brand is that in every single one of them, the only ingredient is the piece of fruit. So super allergen friendly because you would have to be allergic to that fruit to have an allergy to their product. In addition, everything is certified OU kosher, um, is certified non-GMO, um, is gluten-free vegan, has no added sugar, um, and it's peanut and tree nut free. It is, um, in terms of um, cross-contamination concerns, it is manufactured in a facility that processes other fruits, vegetables, and eggs. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have very severe allergies. They sent me a super awesome box that has every flavor of theirs, which I've been trying some of them and they're really awesome. For sake of time, I'm not going to try all the flavors um, in this video, but I will mention what they are. They have apple, mango, pear, pineapple, cantaloupe, banana, and tangerine, which are all super cool. I'm going to focus on some of the flavors that I think we don't traditionally see freeze dried. Um, so I'm going to do banana, pineapple, cantaloupe, and tangerine today. So let's start off with banana. This is what it looks like. I've definitely seen freeze-dried banana before. I always hate how it tastes. I think it has this bitter taste. But this one didn't have that bitterness. I was pleasantly surprised with it, and I thought it tasted really good. So maybe it should be. We're going to move on to pineapple now. So I really like this one when you bite into it. It kind of like has all of the sweetness and moisture that you would expect out of pineapple. Um, but one thing you don't get with it is that like burning sense on your tongue, which I kind of always hate about eating pineapple. So I feel like this is a good way to eat it where you don't have to worry about that factor. So this one definitely gets a chance. So moving on, we're going to go to tangerine. This one was really good. So one thing I like about the idea of having it as a freeze-dried thing is I often um, will avoid eating something like a tangerine or an orange or whatever because I don't feel like peeling it. And this way you don't have to, but you still get a tangerine, you know. Um, one thing I will point out, though, is that so far the other two that I tried before this are very naturally sweet. This one has a natural tang to it, and that is that... Um, stayed with it through the freeze drying process. So it doesn't it doesn't magically make it sweet. So I wouldn't expect that. And if you don't like tang, you probably wouldn't like that. Fruit. So finally we have cantaloupe. This one I think was my favorite out of the flavors I trialed in the video today. Um, it's still, you know, the same freeze dried consistency, but it's really sweet. Like I feel like cantaloupe can be really hit or miss when you get it. It's either like okay or like super sweet. And this was like they somehow found all the super sweet cantaloupes to freeze dry. And so it takes that guessing out of it, which is super awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to um, Chris Green for providing all the samples for this video so that I can show you guys a whole variety of flavors. Um, what I like about this is that it's super convenient to bring with you on the go. Um, but it, it has a better shelf life than fruit does traditionally, and it takes a lot of the hassle of eating a fruit away. It takes away the um, hassle of picking out good fruit and all of that stuff. Um, and for me, this is easier for me to bring to, like, you know, work and snack out on my desk because I'm not going to get juice or sticky things all over my fingers and have to worry about that while I'm typing. Um, it might be easier to have, like, on the car, on a road trip, because the the um, mess afterwards is uh, significantly less than the original fruit, but it really maintains that flavor very well. So thank you so much for watching. If you've ever had crisp green, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to below. Don't forget to subscribe so you get all the updates when I post videos. Currently, I'm posting twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so you can always watch out for a new video then. Um, but if you want even more content, I post uh, frequently on social media, um, 
on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Eating Well with Rochelle. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.